Factors and multiples are a fundamental concept in, in number theory, and they can be used as early as elementary school to, to do things uh, like find common denominators, which is an important part of adding and subtracting fractions. Now, both definitions start off in the same place. They start off by picking an integer, which is the definition's way of telling us that those are the only numbers that these definitions apply to. All right now, a factor of our number is a second number that divides the first one evenly. And a multiple, on the other hand, is you take the original number, and instead of divide, dividing it by an integer, you're going to multiply it by an integer. All right, so let, let's look at some examples. All right, say we start off with 50, an integer, right, with a, as our original number. Now, to get multiples of 50, we just start multiplying it by other integers. For example, 2 times 50 is 100. 3 times 50 is 150. And 4 times 50 is 200. So 100, 150, and 200 are three multiples of 50. Right, so going the other way, uh, we want to see what are some factors of 50. Well, I'll start by looking for numbers that go into it evenly. For example, 50 divided by 1 is 50. So 1 is a factor. 50 divided by 5 is 10. So 5 is a factor. And 50 divided by 25 is 2. So 25 is also a factor. Now, if you try doing this with 6, for example, right, 50 divided by 6 is 8.333, and the 3s just keep repeating. That is, it's a decimal number, right? Because it's a decimal number, not an integer. Right? 6 didn't go into it evenly, which means 6 is not a factor of 50. Now, a quick rule I, I use to keep these two straight, because they are very similar to each other, right? A quick rule I use here uh, is just to remember that we get multiples by multiplying by an integer. So multiples are always going to be bigger than the original number. And we always get factors by dividing into the original number, right? So uh, factors are always going to be smaller than the original value. In the next lecture, we're going to dig a little deeper into this idea of factors and look at how we can go about coming up with a list of all of the factors of a given number. So if you like this uh, presentation or just found it useful, please don't forget to click on the like button below.